Hey friends, I'm Jamie, the host of the Happy Hour with Jamie Ivy podcast, and we have an exclusive bonus content for you today. I sat down with Elizabeth Key and talked to her about her new book, Satisfied, Finding Hope, Joy, and Contentment Right Where You Are, which comes out June 15th. And this is a message that I think I need to be reminded of on the daily. And Alyssa was a lovely guest. We talked about parenting and motherhood and how that looks for her finding satisfaction right where she is. Well, I asked her a question that you don't get on the podcast. You only get here. And oh, it's so good. Here's our conversation just for you guys on the YouTube channel. Women, there's this, you know, this, this, we're always talking about like, follow your dreams and what's your calling. And, yeah. that. and that's important to me because I think that women have a calling on their life that's bigger than marriage and motherhood. I think marriage and mm -hmm. motherhood are phenomenal. I'm grateful that I have both of them, but I have plenty of women in my life who are not married or are married with mm -hmm. their children. And I don't yeah. think that they're any less important or valuable to the right. kingdom. And so mm -hmm. how do you look at your own personal life and, you know, Mary for nine years, parenting three kids mm -hmm. and looking at this particular season, what does it look like to chase your dreams and your callings that include your family as well, but the other things as well yeah. that God's put on your heart? Totally. I love that question, Jamie, and one that is so important. Um, you know, it's, it's funny because I feel like it can be so easy for me to put myself or others in a box, like, oh, I'm a stay at home mom, or they're a working mom, or, you know, like they, they're a career woman. And I'm just realizing like, let's just blow that up because that's not like reality. And it's really like living in rhythm with the Lord. And he has different seasons for us, different things that he calls us to. And, um, a few years ago, I listened to just a little podcast that Jenny Allen had posted about the myth of balancing it all. And she had said this line, I need to go back to it, but, um, basically she's talking about like, if you feel like you're needing to do something out of pride, like I need to do this to prove this, or like, I can like just prideful, then yeah. you probably shouldn't do it. And if you are feeling called to something, but you have fear is stopping you and you're like, Oh no, I could never do that. Then you most likely should do it. And so I feel like that, like really that, and I, I need to go back and really remember how she said it, but that really transformed me because I feel like a lot of the things I didn't want to do was based out of fear. Mm. And I realized once the fear came down, it's like, I heard the Lord's voice and he was like, okay, you like, you need to do this. And it was like, I'm so fearful Lord, but I don't, I will do anything. Like just that prayer, like I'll do anything, whether that is a season of, being primarily at home and showing up for my kids each day and homeschooling or cooking or whatever that is, or it's like, he wants me to write a book or to do a podcast series or go travel somewhere and speak. It's like, I don't, I just will do anything for you, Lord. And I think I just got a bigger picture of the kingdom. Yeah. And it's like, we are all part of the kingdom and we all get to serve in different ways in different seasons. And when he puts something in your heart, like he will um, bring it to completion. Like we just have to say anything, Lord. And I feel like he just put this burning desire, like this burning fire in my heart where it was like, Lord, this is the one life I get. And what, at wherever I am, whoever I'm with, whatever role I have, I want to give Jesus away. Mm -hmm. And so maybe in my day to day, that looks like doing laundry and having a heart to heart with my child and dealing with that tantrum for the 20th time, or maybe to, in my day, that looks like I get to travel somewhere and speak at something. And like, and neither one is more important than the other. They all are part of the kingdom and they all have such significance that we get to like proclaim Jesus and give him away. And so I think when our hearts are you know, and I'm thinking of Matthew when he says like, go and make disciples of all nations for I am with you making disciples looks different in all different seasons and with all different people and how he's created you. But to just be like, yeah, like, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but just, I feel like I need Christine Kane right now with her like fire, like, <laughs> yes, just, <we> do. like <laughs> you know, like go for it. Like whatever, like however you can give Jesus away, do it and do it with all your heart. 
All right, you guys, it's so true. Our dreams and our callings, when they are from God, he is going to provide the way for them to work out. And they look different in every season. I think that is one of the most important things that we can remember is that every season looks different. Friends, if you enjoyed this conversation that you got a little sneak peek of, go ahead and find my podcast, The Happy Hour with Jamie Ivey. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts. Look for episode number 399. Yes, we're almost to 400. I can't believe it. Find episode 399 with Alyssa Joy Bethke. Listen to our whole conversation. And then if you want more, check out her book, Satisfied, Finding Hope, Joy, and Contentment right where you are. Guys, thanks for watching our channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.